You need to learn how to motivate and inspire people. Your customers, when they come in, they didn't, look, they didn't plan on looking to get motivated and inspired by you when they met you. What if they did? I'm really proud of everybody in this room. You guys, the number one secret to life, the number one secret, okay? I don't care who you invest your money with. Anytime you spend your money to self-improve, anytime it's the best money spent. I don't care if it was with me or with anybody else, okay? Your money, how much of your money do you spend when you buy something, make you more money, give you a better life? Guys, I'm telling you, the best investment you'll ever make is on yourself. When you can get around someone that can do something that you can't do, your goal is, as you train tomorrow, is to not train for entertainment, to not train to hope to go back home and something will change. It's to train with the intent to dominate, the intent. Football team, one guy practices and trains because his coach told him he had to go run. The other player runs with the intent to outrun someone on the field and he knows that's the reason why he's running in practice. So when he gets the ball, that nobody's gonna catch him. He is running like he's running in the game. Are you guys going to train like this is your future and this is your training with the intent to dominate? Or are you just training because you saw that someone else came out, they did really well, they tripled their income. And by the way, can we do one thing? And I just want everybody to think about this tonight when we go home. If I was to ask you, what is your goal for 2022, right? Do you have a business plan or do you have a wish list? Those of you that have a business plan, a lot of people in this room, they spent seven, eight, nine, ten thousand dollars with me last year, and they're making two, three, four, five hundred thousand. I'm gonna tell you something, all right? You guys have no idea what you're worth. At the end of this year, my goal is to look up at every single person that trains with me all year long. They're 10 times better than me. And by the way, I'm nobody, okay? I came from nothing. But what I did do is I learned how to speak when I didn't know how to speak, okay? I stuttered and I learned how to slow down in my speaking skill. I made sure it went through the roof. I learned when I talked to make sure that I was alive when I was speaking to my customers and they knew they were important when I was talking to them, just like you're important when I talk to you now. You need to learn how to motivate and inspire people. Your customers, when they come in, they didn't, look, they didn't plan on looking to get motivated and inspired by you when they met you. What if they did? Man, they wouldn't want to leave. You know, I see a lot of salespeople and they're saying, oh, my customer don't want to stay. You know why? They don't like you. That's the truth. Listen, you're average. It's very simple. If people love you, they won't want to leave. And by the way, there is something absolutely amazing that I have learned from one of the best coaches in my life, which is my wife. And she has showed me that the way that she treats people, which is so amazing, people do anything for her. It's not about money when they're doing business with us. My wife can say, look, we just want a fair deal. They want to give it to her for free. They forget that they're working for money. They forget that they're even trying to earn money. They're willing to lose money to earn our business because of the way that my wife treats them when we're doing business. There is a level inside of you that you can do business that you have no idea. It almost is like putting your customer in a trance and paralyzing them because you treat them so good and they've never been treated that great. Wouldn't that be cool if you could obtain this skill? And by the way, at the end of the day, how, wouldn't you sleep like a baby at night? Man, people love you so much. They're afraid to ask for a discount because they, they want to make sure you get paid. They don't even want to see you make less money. They want you to make more. When you under allow on their trade by five grand, they're okay with it. They don't care. Listen, it's just a piece of metal. Let's do business. I've never been treated like this. I've never had somebody, you know, talk to me in this way. And honestly, I've never felt this good about spending any amount, any amount of money. They'll leave pay an additional $500 a month, higher than they planned and spending $50,000 more. And they're glad about it. Would everybody agree people blow money all around the world? Listen, I mean, just think about it. If we took a pen and a piece of paper right now and I had you guys all sit down at a desk and I was like, dude, go through the last 90 days and write down how much money you have blown. You guys have probably blown three, four, five grand. And you guys had a hard time trying to pay for the seminar when you came or thinking about plane tickets and buying stuff. And you're like, oh, dude, you're blowing money everywhere. So when we go and we deal with people, right? Whenever somebody will show you value in something and they're treating you great, what will you do? Then you'll spend whatever it takes. You don't care. You're wasting it already. So the deal is when somebody sees something good, they jump. <laughs>